Dear students, welcome to the Wave Optics Part 3. Today I am going to explain Young's double slit experiment with monochromatic light. Some questions and its solutions. So in this section onwards I reduce number of questions for easy learning. Okay, let us start now. In first question, in Young's double slit experiment, the amplitudes of two sources are 3a and a respectively. The ratio of intensities of bright and dark fringes will be here are the options. So what uh, I think you know this uh, fringes. What is fringes? bright and dark fringes. In Young's double slit experiment there are two slits like make like this and one distance little far away one uh, slide ex one more slide is there so if light is coming through this way and it is interference is happen like see this this light is going like this and light is here this this is called this f this first fringes will be the brightness and darkness you can see the mm, bright, brightness and darkness spots like this way this is called fringes so the intensities of bright and dark fringes will be in this option which will be the correct answer so the answer will be number two you can see how it is solved the amplitude of two sources provided here 3a the amplitude of a source is 3a and the amplitude of second source is uh, a so net amplitude of bright band i already told after the light comes it will make fringes here these fringes dark will be there bright will be there like that so the amplitude of the source 1 and amplitude source, will, source 2 it will be 3a and a and the net bright band and net amplitude of bright band and net amplitude of dark band are 4a and 2a respectively how it comes is net amplitude will be source 1 amplitude amplitude 1 amplitude means uh, a 1 and a 2 So here you can see 3 plus A and the, that is for bright and the dark band it will be A 1 minus A 2. So that will be 3 minus A to A. So the intensity ratio will be net amplitude of bright sources and net, am uh, net amplitude square of dark source so it will be 4 square 4 a square will be 16 a square and for a square here that will be 4 is to 1 so the answer will be 2 
I hope you clear this one. So let us go to the next question. In the Young's double slit experiment, the spacing between two slides is 0 0.01 millimeter if the screen is kept at a distance of 1 meter from the slits the wavelength of the light is 5000 Armstrong then the fringe width is we have to calculate fringe width here so what will be, what will be the answer see the answer will be 3 how we uh, we calculate how we getting this answer let us see fringe width we can say beta equal to lambda d by d capital D by small d where capital D is the distance capital D is the distance from the sli slits and uh, spacing between two slits is 0.1 that means here if we if I draw like this this is the light is coming from here and it is going this second slit set going like this and here see where you can see the waves will be going like this So, this distance, this distance is point zero, po zero point zero point one, and this distance, that is, this is d, small d, this is capital D. That's equal to one meter and lambda it is provided lambda is equal to 5000 5000 angstrom you know angstrom angstrom is a unit of length and one Armstrong is equal to one Armstrong is e one Armstrong is equal to one into ten to the power of ten to the power of minus ten meter. And here beta will be the fringe. The fringe width beta is calculating with the formula lambda d by d where here you can see this is lambda lambda and uh, into d is equal to 1 meter capital D is equal to 1 meter divided by 0 0.1 into 10 to the minus 3 meter this is millimeter so it is meter converted to meter so it will be 5 into 10 to the power of 3 meter means 0.5 centimeter this is wrong so the answer will be 3 ok next moving to the third question in third question in Young's double slit experiment, distance between two sources is 
mm and the distance of screen from the source is 20 cm wavelength of light is used 5460 angstrom then angular position of the first dark finch is this is also the same almost the same the previous question but here ask me to calculate the angular position of the first dark finch so the answer will be 2 how you can calculate here see the position of the dark finch in the interference is given by theta you get to 2n minus 1 into lambda by 2d this is the formula so here first dark finch that means n is equal to 1 so if you substitute n is equal to 1 here you will get lambda by 2d theta 1 is equal to lambda by 2d so the angular position of the first dark finch that is we are calculating with the formula lambda by 2d so if you are substituting the values here you will get 0 0.16 degree so it will be 0 0.16 degree so that is option 2 ok and now next question question number 4 in the interference pattern energy is created at the position of the maxima destroyed at the position of the minima conserved but it is distributed none of the above so the answer in this from the option is 3 conserved what is what is restricted redistributed In the interference of light, the energy is transferred from the region of the destructive re interference to the region of the constructive interference. The average energy being always equal to the sum of the energies of the interfering waves. So, the third one, it is redistributed and conservated. Thus, the phenomenon of the interference is in complete agreement with the law of conservation of energy. What is conservation of energy? Conservation of energy me means energy neither create nor destroy. So, this phenomena satisfied here. So, it will be third option conserved but it is redistributed ok and the next question fifth one two slits are separated by a distance of 0 0.01 0 0.05 millimeter and the illuminated with the light of lambda 6000 Armstrong if the screen is placed 2.5 meter from the slides the distance of the third bright image from the center will be what is asking here the distance of the third bright image from the center will be what we have to find the distance of the third bright image this the distance of the slides slight separated distance and the screen difference both are provided here so the answer is then mm the distance of anth fringe bright fringe from the sun rays x to the power of n equal to n lambda 
b by d this the this equation already we used in the previous question so here it is very easy the uh, the same question we did before the uh, slits uh, separation is distance is this this distance is already given d that is point zero point five mm millimeter and the screen distance d d capital d equal to two point five meter so the light fifth fifth third bright image not the fifth third bright image from the center will be so from the center from the center third one what distance of the third bright image from the center that is 9 millimeter that is the formula we are applying this formula here n will be 3 so substitute the values then you will get this answer that's it so here I use uh, I, I have taken only five questions and you can watch the next video for the next uh, next question and uh, its solutions explained there so thank you for watching